Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. It is around 9, 15, 9.30-ish, 9 30, and we have had a very slow start to the day. I have some laundry going, I did some editing. I was going to upload day four and five together, but so many people want to see a planner walkthrough that I ended up editing it a little bit earlier so I can get it to everyone. But. I realized I never showed you Bubba's haircut. I am catching up on some YouTube, and I recently, let me turn, I recently discovered Michelle Wang. I'm probably late to the game. I'm in love with her. I find her funny, I love her style, but look at this old man. He's got a haircut. He's got a haircut, and he looks so handsome. Yes, he loves you. And then, never too far away, Miss Mabel. Mrs. Mabel. Mrs. Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. Yeah, so, just having a very easy start to our Friday. It's super cold out. It's like in the 20s. And just a chilly, chilly day. Just finishing my coffee. I'm loving this mug. But yeah, laundry going. Tonight, Steven has a party, and I am going out with Abby for dinner. So, today, I don't know, I don't know exactly what we'll do. It might just be a day of entry. I already have today's entry um, planned. I just need to sit down and record that. I do need to get a workout in. We'll see what else we get into. The day is young. So what Pevolve is all about is functional movements. So I would say the slant board is really a great extra to have. And then I have my own heavy weights and light weights and my own gliders, but you need like a set of ankle weights. I already have two sets of Bala ankle and wrist weights. And then you also get this resistance band that goes on your hands or your ankles. Um, so it'll go to both. And then you also get the P-ball which you use for different exercises. But like today's workout, I just needed light weights, my ankle weights, and then the slant board. But you can do any exercise without the slant board. I do think it makes a huge difference. But I am loving the workout. The instructors actually tell you how this functional movement actually works in your day-to-day -day life. So the exercise we were doing today, he's like, next time you walk up on stairs, do it this way. You'll feel the difference and you'll feel it in your glutes and then you'll feel it in your core. And it's just like really nice. It's lower impact, but the workouts are still fantastic. I'm really enjoying them. I love every instructor so far. Um, I saw it advertised by Jennifer Aniston on Instagram, and I was intrigued, and I have really, really enjoyed it. While I was working out, these two were sleeping. A little bit sweaty, I am gonna do like a 20 minute cool down walk on my treadmill just to get some more steps in. What I love is after I'm done working out, <clears throat> everything goes back into that bag, except for my p board, and I just hang it in our Peloton room. Um, it's really nice that everything fits in this bag and like carries it with you. So like if we were going on a weekend road trip or staying at an Airbnb, I could just grab this bag and have my whole workout with me as long as I have my phone, which when don't we have our phone? All right, so I'm going to hop on my tread, get a 20 minute walk in, and we are done with our moving today. And the only reason I'm adding an extra walk is because I'm feeling good. So when you feel it, do it. I am drinking my water. I'm trying to get about three of these in a day. I love this simple modern 50 ounce tumbler. It's down below for you if you are at all interested. So much better than Stanley and way more affordable. But today I have some things I need to wrap up here and I wanna make sure I can get this edited and uploaded before I head off to dinner with Abby tonight and want to be really present for that. So I thought I would do today's entry for our diary. What patterns keep returning 
in regards to your health and wellness. I was kind of thinking about this all day as the day progressed and thought about like, what habits do keep returning for my health and wellness? I would say that I go through waves when things get busy at work. And I find that I have like really good moments, like the last two weeks have been really good. And then things will get crazy with work. And as soon as I feel like some things get crazy, the habit that first arises for me is the way that I use food. And I use it to reward myself for long days or getting through a stressful time or being stressed or all of those moments. And that's a habit that really arises for me in those days. So it's something I wanna be really cognizant of moving forward. I also then use stress and busyness as an excuse not to work out, which is funny because after today, I like said to myself, like, I enjoy working out. Like I really love moving my body and being active and sweating and gaining, like feeling progress and all of those moments. So I think I need to keep reminding myself of how it makes me feel and that it is something that I enjoy. And just always remember that even on days when you're tired, when you get to the end of it, you'll feel so much better and actually less tired and more energetic if you, if you just do it. I think the habit of making the excuse that I'm too busy or that I don't have the time is just foolish. In 20 minutes, I got a great workout and I think it's about how you use the time and really devoting and being all in during that time. So I think those are two habits. I really need to reevaluate my relationship with food, how I use food, how I think of food, and really um, do some work in that area because it is definitely something that like historically has been a struggle for me and that I have seen as I've grown up and really like this love hate with food. So I think that's one of the habits that arises and I haven't necessarily, well not necessarily, I haven't conquered it because I, I mean, food is, food is one of those weird things that are, it's hard to avoid. Food is everywhere. So definitely really thinking about how I navigate and grow in my relationship with it and have a healthy relationship with food. I think that's one of the things I want to gain in 2024 is a better relationship with it. I think another unhealthy habit, which is something I have to remedy, is that I have a lot of anxiety about doctors and hospitals and doctor's offices and all of those things in general. So I tend to avoid them at all cost. I just have really bad anxiety about going to the doctor and perhaps that's because I haven't found the right fit with a doctor. It is something I've carried all my life. I just have a lot of anxiety. So when you see me and I go to a doctor or when I was really sick in December, I went twice. Um, when I do that, like I am really, really feeling it. I just have a lot of anxiety around them and I know it is something that I have to do and I have to take care of. And with my birthday coming up, it's something that I have to prioritize. And I have to get over the hump somehow or do some sort of work to get over my anxiety of getting blood work done or getting or and going to the doctor and doing all those things. I just, the only time I will go is if I think something is really wrong, which is such a terrible, terrible habit and terrible thing to navigate through life with because it's all about early detection and being proactive and all those things, but I just struggle with it so, so much. But that would be another habit that arises with my health that I have to find a remedy for and move on towards. As you think and reflect on this yourself and think about the habits that arise for you around your health and wellness, I encourage you to Always listen to your body in the whispers before it has to yell. And I think that's one thing I'm going to really challenge myself with. With my birthday coming up in February, I need to prioritize not only staying on track with my health from 
a working out and eating standpoint and doing the work required to figure out my relationship with food, I also need to start going to the doctor um, proactively and take care of myself because I want a long life. I want to be present. I want to be able to be the best that I can. And I know that part of that is maintaining a healthy check-in with your doctor. So that's really something that I'm thinking about this year. And maybe even something I add to some of the goals that I'm thinking about. Would love any advice that any of you have around doctor and medical anxiety because I know I cannot be the only one. And also use these entries as your own reflection point. You don't have to write anything in the comment section. Use them to write them down. DM me on Instagram. We continue to have really good conversations over there. But yeah. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be sometime soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>